You know, the salutary governorship style of the Professor Babagena Zulum of Borno State uh, continues to gladden the mind. The Professor of Agricultural Science has presented a modest budget of 340.6 billion naira to the State House of Assembly for the 2024 fiscal year, pledging to build on the achievements recorded by the previous administration. Now, Governor Zulum allocated 198.2 billion for capital expenditure, while the balance of 142.3 billion would be for recurrent estimates. Now, prudence is the name of the game, uh, Ibn, Ibn Abo. Very true. A story with it. Um, okay, okay. There's there's a background to it. To it, please let's go there. Jesse Tafida has the uh, the background story. L let's go, please. It's that time of the year when the executive presents its budget to the legislature for approval. Governor Baba Genazulum makes his entry into the State House of Assembly. While presenting the budget, the governor acknowledged that this is a reflection of his 10 packs development agenda of his administration towards giving hope to survivors of the 13-year conflict. In the last four years, I have had the privilege and opportunity of executing four approved budgets and have compelling reasons to simply look back and be proud of the gains we have recorded. For me, serving the good people of Borno State has been the greatest honor of my life. The 2024 proposed estimate of 340.6 billion naira has a capital expenditure of 198.2 billion naira with recurrent expenditure of 142.3 billion naira. Out of this, the Ministry of Finance got 53 billion, Health was allotted 51 billion, Works got 45 billion, and education was given 39 billion naira. The governor explains that strategies have been put in place to ensure the effective implementation of the project and the harmonization of developmental projects, part of which is ensuring effective service delivery. I want to notify you that I will be highly ambitious in providing development and I will not let you down. The Borno that I will lead, inshallah, will be more peaceful, will be more secure, more vibrant, more industrial, more developed. The state assembly will seize the opportunity to develop state policies and invite key members of the executive from all races, departments, and agencies. The 2024 budget is themed consolidation and progress. As Governor Bamba Ganazulum's budget of consolidation and progress awaits approval by the state legislature, residents are hopeful that it will impact positively in their living conditions. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri. Many thanks, Jesse. Uh, even above, it's the style is the man, so the man has a peculiar style. It, it does, it does. Mm. I, 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 I remember when um, uh, the 30,000 naira minimum wage issue came up. Yes, it mm. was the first governor oh, yeah. to pay. And um, he had done a lot. You know, he, he inherited a lot of issues from his predecessor, um, Shatima. But he was, was able to hold it down, was able to, you know, run the state calmly and coolly. I, I, I could remember there was a time he visited a school in the rural areas mm. where he honored a teacher, a, oh, yeah. a school teacher. Oh, yeah. so, so you see, this is a governor that is very close to the people. He's not, he's not, he's not aloof. He's very close to them. So I, I, I believe in his budget and I believe that uh, it will scale through. It wouldn't, uh, you know, have yeah. Yeah. hurdles well, to well, scale. Well, mm. Gide, Gide has been to that part uh, more than once, twice. Yes. And so can say, tell us one or two more things? Yes, I, as you said, that uh, the man is truly special. No doubt about it. I've never seen any governor like him. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he stands out among the governors of his generation. This is the truth. This is verifiable. The projects 
that he completed in just 100 days of his second term. Some people don't complete those projects in years. Hmm. I was physically there when the vice president was asking him, you know, he built a PHC, a primary health center, hmm. from scratch. Completed. Completed, it. equipped, furnished, you know, and it isn't, not in one place, in different local governments. Hmm. So the vice president was asking, are you saying you did all of this? In 100 days, during his first term, in 100 days, he completed some model schools. Those model schools, story buildings, everything, they, he had put uh, air conditioners and everything in those schools. When you see some of the schools in Borno State, you, you think? think you are looking at the Senate building of a university. They are very, very good, envir uh, environmentally friendly, the sort of environment that will make a child want to... Uh, go to school. There are some primary schools. If I show you the videos, he completed one in 100 days. If I show you the video, you will not believe that it's a primary school. Hmm. Because of everything that has been put there. And there is no way that you can do maybe a four hour documentary and, and succeed in talking about all the projects of this man. Because every day is on his feet walking and walking. I don't know where he finds the energy. Well, the, so it, it said that a team is as good as the captain. So he must yes, have a good he, team. He, he has a good team, but he is the he is the conductor leading the orchestra. Whatever whoever he works with, hmm. because his um, his style is infectious. What they tell me is, we know what to expect if we don't deliver. So we yeah. don't want his anger. You know, he has no time to sit down between interviews here and there. He just focuses on his work. Have you ever seen Zulum doing a live interview? It won't happen because he's so busy. And now you can see the focus. Look at how much he's setting aside to health. Mm. Mm. Bono State is the best in primary health care in our country today. They won a World Bank uh, prize running into hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, some of those, he's talking about grants and all that, that he expects, he's expecting money to come by way of IGR, capital receipts, including aid, grants, and capital development funds. For some of the achievements that they've recorded, you know, the World Bank tries to encourage states to excel in the area of uh, school enrollment, in the area of healthcare delivery, and there are incentives. So Bono State defeated other Nigerian states and emerged the best in the country in primary health care. For that, they got tons of dollars. Mm. And they can now use that money maybe to sink boreholes here and there. That's, People ask, where does he get the money? Bono State defeated other Nigerian states in school enrollment some years back. That also afforded them a lot of money. Considering the uh, peculiar security challenges there. Yes, yeah, so for someone who, who, who has to face such a problem, it's unbelievable that he's found the energy, the inventiveness, and the, and the commitment yeah. to work so hard. The, I always say that good leaders have empathy. Mm -hmm. I will all have empathy. That was why I came up with free education. Without free education, many of the elites throwing their weight around today mm. would not have uh, gone to school. He, uh, he, he comes from a humble background, son of an uh, Islamic cleric. He is doing his best to help the, um, to help the poor. You can see he, he's inaugurated even electric and uh, gas-fired uh, engines. The president was there some days back. He tries to be the first to do certain things. Right. Before even the federal government came up with the idea of palliative, he was already distributing it. Before the federal government and others thought about it, uh, um, putting vehicles on the roads to ease the moving around of our people, he already put buses yes. on the road, yes. he put trucks on the road mm. to take even farmers from one location to another. To another. He's yeah. such an incredible... Governor and a record breaker. The, the rule is, even about they call it kick and follow. 
when you kick the ball, you follow the ball. Exactly. When yeah. you know what your who your boss is, mm. you can't afford to afford to oh, fall you, short. Yeah, you can't a slip up. Mm. Mm. No.